Normally, when you hear a story of Soraka, they say, you know, he was a bounty hunter, and um, he knew where the Prophet ﷺ is because he heard some news from somebody that he knew that they saw Rasulullah ﷺ and his companions were west, were the Turjeda, basically. Because what they did, instead of going north, they went south, then they went west, then they followed that route back north. So he knew, so what he did, he didn't tell anybody because he wanted all the money for himself. So what he did, he got on the horse, left, and followed the same route. So basically, he caught up. He caught up to Rasulullah and um, when they, when he approached Rasulullah so he had a spear and um, basically he wanted to, because that all life, he, wants, he wanted the, uh, Rasulullah to, to get Rasulullah and get the reward money. So what happened, you know, this area normally when you hear, you know, the horses, uh, the two front legs, when he tried to attack Rasulullah it went in, in the ground, actually sinked in. You know, I used to hear that story and I seen it was sand probably, you know, that's where the horse went and he fell. But in this area, it's not sand, it's hard ground, you know, like rocks and, you know, and that's a miracle. You know, he tried to attack Rasulullah the horse, you know, the two legs, it sunk into the ground and he fell. And he realizes, you know, like he tries this like three times. Then he realizes, you know, that Rasulullah is protected. You know, he, instead of, you know, he, he came to, after Rasulullah he actually asks Rasulullah for protection. Because he realized, you know, that, you know, I can't get to him. So, you know, in, in Rasulullah Sassim, it's granted, protection is granted to you. And he actually says, you know, give me that in writing, you know. So, subhanAllah, you know, like uh, later on, in the, during the Umar al-Hus Khulafa, so what he did, you know, like, you know, like Rasulullah Sassim told him, you know, uh, not only this, that you know that um, you got protection, but you know, one day you will be where wearing the, you know, the bracelets of uh, Qaisar, the, the king of uh, Persia back then, you know, that, um, uh, in, so, in the, during the Umar al time, you know, when he, he took out that contract, he said, Rasulullah told me that, you know, that you, when, when they got the booty from, um, from, the, from uh, Persia, he says, you know, that Rasulullah promised me that I'm going to be putting that on. So, Rasulullah, uh, Umar al allowed him, you know, uh, to put that on.